Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and today we're gonna keep continue working on uh, Electroglide Classic and as we guys saw in the last video we end up with the saddle bags and the tool pack on and uh, today we took everything off because we're gonna continue working so we need the saddle bag to be off we need the tool pack off because we're gonna connect the light in the tool pack there is a running lights here on each side and also we found that that the rack the luggage rack also has light here uh, there is a light here and actually it's a uh, work for brake and running light as well so i got that tour back use as you guys know and the guy like cut a lot of wires and harnesses uh but from inside here what we found we found this this hole is gonna feed the main harness from the bike it's supposed to connect to the main plug here which is as goes one branch this side of the lights one branch to that side of the lights but there is no branch going up to the uh, back light and if you see this one has only two wires which is running light and ground but we find out we found out that the bike, it has a plug, which is female plug, but has three wires. Running light, blue one, red with a stripe white brake. for brakes, and the black one is for ground. But the plug in the touring pack, it has two wires. But it has the spot, it has the space in the middle, so we can actually add a pin. This pin, we got it out of an old plug. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just clean it, open it, I just opened it already. Open it, get that old wire out, open where the wire get uh, fixed to the pin, clean it up and put the new wire, close it, clamp it with a uh, pair of pliers, then stick it in the um, male side in the pack. So it will be ready uh, to run. And what our plan is, once we feed this pen, it's gonna be right in the middle. Once we feed it, it's gonna, it's gonna be right in the middle for the red, and, uh, the red wire with the white stripe. That red wire is only going back here. And if you, if you notice this, this bolt, it has a hole in it. So when we feed these wires, it will come out of here. We're gonna get the running light on the ground connected to this plug. And the brake light, we're gonna run it from this plug straight to the wire, to the brakes for the light over here. So let's get started. All right, guys, we connected everything. We used uh, typical uh, press connectors on this side. This side, because it's, it's tight, and I really hate to uh, peel the uh, wire, then butt it, butt the IR wire as, as T connection. We use that very beautiful uh, thing, which is you put the wires covered, perfect wires and you just press that connection uh what, what's the call it quick splice connector quick splice connector, splice connector. Uh, yeah quick splice connectors uh, they come in different sizes different shapes uh they even have a t like because in this one they only have connect two wires you can actually connect more than two I mean, you can connect everything together, but anyways. Um, did we record when we tested the brake light? Yeah. Okay, so we first connected the brake light and it worked over here. So now we're gonna test everything, uh, running light and brake light. Then we're gonna come back here, 
uh, get some uh, like sleeves or something just to make it look good and get all these wires together run them through these clips so it will be out of the way when we're trying to put anything in the pack okay we have the liner so even better so <laughs> i forgot about the liner so now you see the lights in the butt the sides of the pack they're both running the one in the back of the pack is running now we're gonna test the brick light yep it works beautiful and the two side lights they're not supposed to be actually with brakes uh, but it's beautiful I love it all right and uh, uh, next step, I think we're gonna take that pack out again so we can start working in the uh, wiring for the amplifier. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start working on the amplifier in the saddle bag. We'll see how we're gonna mount it inside the right side one, but uh, the old one was on the right side, so we're not gonna change anything. So we're gonna start doing this, and while that saddle bag is out, we can also do the rear brake uh, fluid. Do you want to ch change yeah. change and bleeding for the rear brakes? Okay. All right, so let's see what's going to happen. All right, guys, now we're going to... That's like a side project in the middle of that big project. These the saddle bags we're going to put on the bike, on the bike. We're going to change these locks to these locks, but we're going to change the key for the old key. So let's start doing this. It's kind of confusing, but so pretty much we're gonna get this lock, put it here and take this out. And that key, we're gonna change it with the old key from the broken saddlebags. So let's see how, how we're gonna do that. All right, now we got this lock. You see, that's the lock. We got it from the one we want to install and the new set of bags because we have the key for it, but it doesn't match the key for everything in the bike. So we want one key for everything. So we took this lock out. We got the old lock from the broken set of bag so it will have the same key as the ignition and we're gonna install it and when you install it looking at this it's supposed to go this way so when you actually turn the key it will lock it this way so this uh whatever this piece it will move this hatch or latch it will move that way and it will lock it here and let's try it let's get the right key and let's try it all right first of all guys uh that's the lock it doesn't lock on this it locks on this so that's the key for the ignition and when it's closed, when the saddlebag is locked, it's closed, that's how it looks like. So when we put the key, you, it's the right key, so now it works. And that's it. Uh, this key is kind of rough a little bit, so I think we're gonna put some graphite in there. Uh, in key locks, never put oil, never put uh, WD-40, unless it's rusted. But if it's kind of hard, you just put a uh, graphite dust. Uh, and that's it. And we're gonna install this one in the new set of bags. Uh, and we'll see.
Now, we we'll change the locks. Actually, we we'll change the whole thing, and we we'll change the locks, both sides. Now we're gonna install the speakers and the Saturn bags, which is what you do. It's uh, when it's in the bike, it's very easy to open, but it's right here. Looks like it's an oval. So let's take this four screws out, which is their Phillips. Let me get you a Phillips screwdriver. So let's try to put the speaker from the top. So which is by once we got all four screws out, that face came out. The grill came out. So. Okay, it's actually a perfect fit. The four screws from the speaker fits the four holes over here. And after we screw that in there, we're gonna put the face back up. I uh, think all will go together? No, I think. Oh, these are four different screws here. Yes. Right? Uh, they should come with screws, check the box. Check the box again. Uh, All right, guys. The speakers we got, it came, it came with connections, which is you have to make your own connections from the connections. But the speakers gonna rest on the top of this one, two, three, four holes. This ones, not the big ones, not these. These is for the grill. And the girl came with the screws and we just unscrewed it like you saw. So it doesn't come with screws. We found this one is a good diameter, good length, but bad thread. That's not thread for speakers. So we're gonna need like um, I believe M10 will do it, but we're gonna go to the hardware store, try to grab some screws with a washer and a nut because the screw is going to go this way and from coming out this way i think we have enough length for a washer and a nut i mean regular m10 screw that's if if m10 will be good if it's not i will let you know what we got here i don't think we need a washer but if i found the washer perfect fit to the base of the screw i will get one so what through washer on the top washer on the bottom uh, at least you protect your plastic so um, we're gonna run to the hardware store and we'll be back all right guys we got the screws it's right here i think it will be yep it's a perfect fit and let's try the length. Sorry, I'm trying to work with one hand and with the other hand, but anyway. Here's the speaker. The lens is good. It will fit see the washer and the nut and it did fit the washer and the nut and so we're gonna install all four of them and the other side as well and we'll be back we got all four of them. They were kind of tight and we had to flip the, uh, the speaker. But it's done. Now we're gonna install the uh, grill. All right, and we're gonna finish up the other two screws and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and we'll be back. Okay guys, now before we uh, 
start wiring our amplifier we have the setup back on this side is off so it's a good chance to go ahead and uh, kind of flush your rear brake uh, fluid and that's for not the ABS okay if it's an ABS I think you need to get take it to the dealer so on the right side of the bike you're gonna find here in the front right behind that uh, brake uh, lever you're gonna find your cylinder for the rear brakes and if you continue here that's your caliber and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the cylinder and try to uh, take the old fluid out then start adding the new fluid then start bumping in the back maybe uh, fill that cylinder twice or maybe more make sure we flush the whole old fluids that was inside here do you think it's going to be different colors should be liquids should be okay. okay so once we start getting fresh color we're going to keep doing it so you do a good flush okay okay so right. and why we're doing the flush they say every two years because it gets moisture in and moisture like water is more compressible yes so it is. might make effect like uh, so um, your brick's not going to work that good yeah so the first two we need a Philip screwdriver and remove these two screws and we'll go from there okay now we're gonna get these uh, two screws out and yep. always guys you want to check that diaphragm here and make sure it's in a good shape and if it need to be replaced you're gonna have to replace it get some towels ready okay so I think ours are is in good shape always make sure when you leave it outside well like that so it's not gonna get any moisture or any dirt on it the next step will be back here where the caliper is uh, I'm sorry the caliper Here's the light you're gonna need up front. I have my light up here. In our situation, the valve is 3.8. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a, just a wrench. Use it with this. You can use this side, but you I like it. Your, uh, yeah. Uh, then I'm gonna go with the hose for the pump. You don't have to use pump, but pump will make your life way easier. If we're not gonna use pump, how are you gonna uh, like bleed it? I don't know. I press press brakes, oh. press and let go, press and let go. The old way of bleeding. Okay, bump, this pump guys is like 10 bucks from Harbor Freight, so make your life easy as much as you can. All right. So now we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open a little bit. Then when you press the pump, usually you create negative pressure from this side. So it will suck the liquid. And, and he's gonna be watching the liquid uh, level, the uh, brake fluid level on the uh, piss of uh, the, the cylinder. The you cylinder, guys yes. don't need any uh, air to go in. So once you see the level, of that brake fluid going down you need to add okay so, so let's go i'm gonna stay here i need to find the spot that i can easily add hey guys we uh almost flush it again we almost filled that cylinder maybe three times and we emptied the the bottle that was in the bump uh, and if you guys notice the difference in the color between when we started was like kind of they call the honeycomb color brownish yeah yeah light brown and uh, then you keep doing it till it's get clear and do it like maybe uh, fill the cylinder maybe twice with with a uh, fresh oil and after this you need to close the valve before you remove your uh, hose and make sure it's tight put your rubber cap on back again and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close that cylinder and that will be it in how you flush your uh, <coughs> your uh, brake lines 
so we're just gonna close uh, the cap for the cylinder and we'll be done with that part all right guys now we're installing the uh, new amplifier we tried to get some measurements from the inside trying to stay away from the um the plastic the amplifiers they get really hot so we're gonna put some cushions um high temperature cushions uh here and on the bottom so the amplifier will not be touching any of the walls of the uh, saddle bags uh we did some measurements here and there sorry here and here then we flip the amplifier over here can you hold the camera please then we flip the amplifier here and we adjusted it to the two positions we did and we came out with this two marks which is here and there so now we're gonna start drilling <clears throat> hopefully hopefully it's the uh, right spots to drill <coughs> if it's not so we're gonna use some rubber patch him and drill in the right spot but I feel confident actually to start drilling one two three four so let's drill All right, now after we uh, install the um, amplifier, we're gonna take it back out so we can drill a hole for the wires to feed it to the amplifier, uh, connect the wires, and reinstall the amplifier. All right, the spot for the uh, wires uh, hole we're gonna drill, we picked that spot based on the position of the saddlebag comparing to this, uh, is that a fender or no? Yeah, cover. Cover. Uh, the direction of the wires, you don't want your wires to go a lot of loops and bending. So we picked right here, which is technically is right underneath the uh, hole, which supports the saddlebag in the bike. It's like right here. I believe that's gonna be a good spot for it because we have one big wire is going to go through the ground wire is going to be connected to the body of the bike going through this and in the same time this hole is supposed to be in front of the um the amplifier from the inside because you don't want your wire to go from the inside bend and bend again that's going to be a lot of bending i know they're big gauge wires they're not going to be that much effective, uh, affected by um, bending a lot, but... It's going to be hard to bend by sharp. It's, yeah, yeah. It's sharp bends with this big wire is going to be hard. Plus, it's not healthy for the wire. So, um, let's start by making the hole. I'm going to drill a pilot hole uh, with a small drill bit. Uh, then, we're going to bring the saddle bag back here and try to see where's that spot is it good so we can drill the big hole or we're gonna move it up or down or front or back all right All right, we finished the hole, we sand it smooth, it doesn't have any sharp edges so you don't cut your wires because yeah, I know there's two big wires uh, for the power, but don't forget there's some small wires for the speakers and they, for sharp edges, actually can cut those. So now let's clean up. Okay guys, now we're gonna have to uh, start wiring our speakers and um, 
This one is a detachable tour bag, and again, we don't have the factory original uh, plugs that coming from the motorcycle to the back to just easily disconnect your um, your your wires from the tour bag to from the from your uh, from your bike. So we're gonna have to make sure when we wire our speakers that we make our connections that we can easily. Um, uh, remove them so for example again that's from my that's what came from the old bike and again the guy have these connections so they are easy to just disconnect if you want to remove your um, your tour pack or if you want to remove the saddle back from the other side so we have the amplifier will be on this side the right side of uh, of this of the bike so when we want to remove um, this saddle back we can just easily disconnect everything here but when we wire the speaker to the other side we're gonna have to run the wire from here all the way we're gonna have to drill a hole maybe down here so we can run the wire for the speaker and we're gonna make our connection somewhere here around the fender maybe we'll zip ties to that um, uh, suspension line or maybe we'll zip tie to the harness here I think I will zip tie to the harness was again an um, easy connection to remove like like these ones same when we come to the saddle bag it's gonna be the same we're gonna run the wires here and we're gonna make the connection even here somewhere or we're gonna make it somewhere in the saddle bag so we can easy remove the disconnect the wires and just remove the saddle bag by pulling the wires from here and I think that what I'm gonna go with so to connect the start wiring your speakers uh, let's go to the other side we'll try to show you so that speaker is uh, like a harness connection so it's not like uh, two separate um, uh, connection like um, most of the speakers like here in the front you see these are two separate connection positive and negative but here it's just like a harness and it came with a with a harness kit so when you wire you want to make sure where is the positive and where is the negative and let me let me get some light so I can show you guys exactly where is a positive and negative here it's very hard to show it in a camera but here it's on the uh, board rectic board and there is a positive rating on this side and and then the negative will be the other side so we want to make sure when you get your harness ready you want to mark your positive and negative so polarity will make difference so positive will be here negative will be the other side so when we do the harness i will show you the wire and we'll show you like we're gonna keep run everything be to be the same the wire that we got is not like a black and, and red it's like a different color with a white stripe on one of them so i'm gonna make the one with the white stripe on it to be my positive uh, my positive uh, connection and the other one the solid color will be my negative connection so let's go ahead and start make our hands ready for the speakers and another thing to to make sure you have to consider the length of the wire that you're gonna run so on this side we're gonna have to run the wire from the speaker pass it through the settle bag all the way to halfway here so we have to measure that length and always cut with extra if you have extra you can trim or cut the excess later on if you are short you can have to even start from the beginning or soldering or make your an, a new connection the speaker on this side it's directly in the amplifier box so we don't have we don't need a very long one and again cut some with extra so you don't have to worry about making a new uh, wiring connection okay guys that's uh, the speaker wires we got and um, as I mentioned there's one that is solid color one side the other one has a white stripe so we're gonna keep always these are be our positive and the other side will be our negative okay and uh, these are the harness 
kit that came with uh, with a saddle bag and a speaker kit. Let's try to just go over it. Uh, make sure you don't want to lose any of these small pieces. So, so that's what you guys need for one side. You need your harness, you need your two pins, you need these two rubber insulator, and you need these plastic tab that will go over. Um, again, so that's how this is gonna go this way. So you wanna make sure you get your wires ready. That will be placed at the end after you put your wires into your pins. But you want to pass your wire from these wire uh, from these rubber uh, insulators. So when you put your pin, you just like push in the rubber to insulate it. Okay. So I'm gonna do the saddle bag. The first one that is already uh, on the uh, amplifier side. Again, I'm not gonna use too long because it's already on the same. So I'm just gonna cut maybe a uh, foot and a half or so that will be long we're gonna trim the excess later on uh, make sure you split it Okay guys, now we uh, just finish connecting these pins to the wires um, and again uh, I, w I have to go and uh, get the 18 gauge wire because the 16 was too thick for this harness. I'm not really satisfied by using the 18 gauge. Uh, I feel they might be a little bit thin for the amplifier but we'll give it a try and see. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to buy like um, good speakers that will come with like regular connection instead of these harness uh, in the connection. So um, I will go ahead and uh, connect again. The one that we planning to keep it for positive is the one with a white stripe and that will be on the left side of the harness as we mentioned before. So, okay, so that will go this way. Now it's gonna go this way, so, yep. Get these insulator back a little bit so you can be able to push the wire all the way until you hear it clicks. Yep, here we go, that, that here clicked. Now let's do the other one. Okay, now the other one clicked. And after this, you can start to push your D rubber insulator in. You can use a flathead screwdriver. That might actually help you. And after you push your pins in and make sure they are clipped, make sure you push this back and click in. So the pins are not gonna come off easy. Uh, Again, I'm gonna keep uh, pushing these and after this we'll show you how to put, uh, how to install the last piece. So now once we got the wires almost all the way in, uh, sorry, the rubber insulators almost all the way in, I'm just gonna open these wires a little bit and get these uh, plastic ragged in between. And we're just gonna have to push that until it's clicking. 
So I tried as hard as I can, I couldn't get it in. So again, that's uh, another thing make me we'll go to the other direction and get any other speaker brand that will go with a regular connector, the, they call the, like this paid the kind of connector, male and female, which is gonna be much easier to do, much easier to connect. Uh, that's too much hassle, guys. If you got these kit from eBay, I think there's some of these uh, saddleback uh, the set of bags without the speakers. They have the speaker lids, but without the speaker, if it's extra money, I don't actually remember. I ordered, ordered them a long time ago. Don't waste your money on the speakers because they don't look to be at a good quality at all. And with a much fork is gonna take to do these harnesses, I don't recommend at all. So you guys get any other speakers that will fit. I think it's five by seven, um, and like regular connect connection for connector for the speakers will be much easier so i think i will go that route I might run to walmart or any other store get any brand of speakers and uh we'll connect them replace these uh one that came with a saddleback so okay guys we connected everything speakers to the amplifier everything is good and we tested and it sounds great so i'm not gonna change the speakers and uh, that came with uh, saddle bags. I'm just uh, gonna use uh, thinner wires for now. Then if something happens, we'll we'll change the wiring later and change the speakers later. So what I need to do now is to connect everything, put the amplifier in the saddle bag, and try to wire um, or try to make my wires like plan what I'm gonna do. But I think I'm gonna have um, everything going with that light wire that will go to the saddle bag so I will have only one bundle going to saddle back um, sorry going to the tour back here from that opening back there so I'm gonna zip tie my uh, speaker wires with that uh, uh, light harness and let everything go this way um, and we'll do the connection that I can easy unplug the wires for that saddle bag if I want to remove it and same I will do the same uh, easy connection for the tour pack um, speakers so let's get uh, that uh, started okay guys now we uh, have all the wires ready with all the connection uh, we bet the wires through the tour pack and have them ready. We also got the speakers wires with a connection as well uh, As you guys can see so it took some time, but we have everything ready now. We need to install the, the these two speakers here and again we don't have uh, the original wires from the motorcycle as we met, as I mentioned before a couple of times and uh, th this one is a used one and the guy has already looks like he installed an aftermarket speakers as well but he has to cut from the plastic here so now we're gonna have to fit our speaker in and we're gonna have to drill our holes to to fit them and make them uh, like good and stable so we're gonna drill into the plastics uh, we're gonna use these uh, fasteners or clips with uh, with the screws so that will go around the plastic here and then the screw will go from the speaker through the plastic to the clip so attach to the speaker to the to the opening here but we have to make sure that I have a plastic behind every spot I want to put a screw on so I have to make sure before I drill I have at least three of these um, six holes are lined with plastic so I can drill my my opening so I can put the speakers on and um, after this we will wire everything we'll put the amplifier back on connect all the wires and that should be ready so Let's go ahead and do it. So 
now we have the speaker uh, placed on the tool pack and we already did the wiring over there now the only thing left is to drill a hole here on that right side the sorry left side saddle back and that we can pass our connection and our wire from it so let's go ahead and do that now we're just gonna smooth this from inside like what we did with uh with the other one and then we're gonna start passing our connectors from it maybe if i need to make it a little bit bigger we'll do so let's do this and put that saddle back on the bike and start finishing our wiring uh, or our connection then after this we'll we'll, uh, we'll um, install the amplifier back and connect all the wires to the amplifier So we start to zip tie some of the wires together. I need that to be very accessible so I can, if I want to uh, remove my uh, saddle bag on that side, I can easily disconnect it. So when I do zip ties here, I'm not gonna zip tie this one. Okay, so I can uh, easily uh, remove it. So I'm gonna have to cut that zip tie here and just make that free make this one free then we'll zip tie the rest together okay because that's if uh i will do it again i will make the wire running all the way here and i will make that connection inside the saddle bag so i just connect it and let that hang out there uh from the set from uh, the saddle bag uh, but anyway we, we did this way so I have to cut that zip tie and make that wire loose so whenever I want to take the saddle back off I just disconnect that um, the connectors here and I have to take everything easy uh, in a tour pack we made all the connection inside so whenever we want to remove it just disconnect the connectors and then take your tour back off um, the next step is jump into the amplifier start wiring the amplifiers back and put it back in the saddle back and that will be it we'll be done with that job and let's get started Okay, so we got everything wired and we'll do like a quick explanation. So channel one and three is the speaker on the left side. Channel one is the one in the saddle bag, the channel three is the one in the tool pack. Then the channel two and four is gonna be the speaker on the right side. So number channel two is a saddle bag speaker and channel four is a tool pack speaker. We have the positive, we have the remote uh, wire, so it only get power when you have the ignition on. And we have the negative connector, or the ground, which was the hardest because it was the shortest wire I have. So now I'm going to have to mount the amplifier with all these wires connected to the saddle bag, which is going to be some hassle. But with uh, some help, maybe I can uh, get it knocked out quickly. So let's get that done. Hey guys, we got everything wired, everything back in place. We, uh, let me show you the amplifier. It took some time as uh, I'm doing it myself today, but uh, after some hassle with, uh, with the screws and knots, I got everything sorted. I had to remove the positive and negative because from like keep moving around, it wasn't really looks great. So I removed these two and they have access, so that's good here. So I uh, redirect like my, my positive to come straight in and the same for the negative here. So I made the negative coming like this and the positive going like this. No um, uh, sharp pint in your wires at all, especially these two big ones. 
Okay, uh, so let's try to fire and uh, play some music and see what it is sounds like. Okay, I think now it's connected. <laughs> Okay guys, it sounds like the battery is uh, not good, so we took the battery off, we're gonna put it to charge, and um, that will be it for today's video guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it's very helpful for you, uh, we got old amplifier and speaker wired and installed in place, what we're gonna do in the next, uh, next video is we're gonna get the battery charged and we're gonna try everything, we'll try to try the amplifier and uh, see how it sounds like. Um, and uh, next step is also finish that front end uh, and install the stereo back on we don't want to forget to mount these uh, relays here for the LED light that we put on then after this we're gonna put the um, that face the chrome face here we didn't put it yet because we wanted to make sure we have all the wires done um, and to do that we're gonna have to unbolt our signal lights and then put it back on then uh, just gonna try to just remove one bolt it's only one bolt no both of them then we put the chrome cover here in the front and after this we'll put the front fairing with a new LED light so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching for watching please subscribe to our channel like and turn your notifications on and have a good one.